Larry Kudlow's with us this morning. Larry, at a 3.1% inflation rate, are wage increases keeping up? Uh, they, no, the answer is no. Real wages have gone down, I think, 3.7% uh, over the course of the Biden administration. Uh, some months recently, there have been some uh, small increases in real wages. But for the point to point, uh, no, they've gone down nearly 4%. You know, I read that article that you sent me or your producers sent me on food prices. Um, food prices, uh, let's see, groceries up 21%. 21 percent. This is from February 2021 uh, through November, today's report. Groceries up 21 percent. Food away from home up 20 percent, actually 19.9. So call that restaurants. But even inside those numbers, you know, shopping for food, cereals and bakery up 25 percent, dairy up 16.4 percent, Fruit and veggies up 13.5 percent. I want you to eat your veggies, Sue. Beef is up 22 percent. Chicken is up 24 percent. Chicken is very good, Stu. It's low calories type stuff. But here's really, here's really the killer. Um, fertilizer is up 35.9 percent. Fertilizer. Why is that important? Two reasons. Number one, Biden's war against fossil fuels has raised the price of fertilizer along with the price of all other fuels. They've raised it substantially because we're not producing enough to meet demand. Second point, fertilizer is a crucial ingredient into farm and farm products. So in other words, one reason why food is skyrocketing over the past three years is fertilizer is skyrocketing, and that can be traced to the war on fossil fuels. Which So there's one, one last piece here, one last piece here. In this climate meeting uh, in the UAE, COP28, yeah. they can't agree on anything. Right. They've thrown out the temperatures. They can't agree on lowering uh, uh, carbon by one and a half percent, which is very amusing to me. But the best part was the host, okay, the sultan from the UAE, who said, if you're going to kill fossil fuels, we're all going to go back to caves. <laughs> yeah. And he won't sign on on that. I love this guy. I've never met him, but I love this guy because he speaks the truth. And meanwhile, the biggest carbon emitter in the world is China by far, and they didn't even bother to show up at the conference. You know, you're right about this COP28 conference. It's winding down. It's a total failure. The delegates are divided and angry. The latest deal does not include the phasing out of fossil fuels. The Greens are furious about this. My question is, Larry, right. was this summit a message to Biden's Green New Deal? The message being it won't work and voters won't buy it. Well, they're not listening to that message. The last point you made, voters don't buy it, okay? That's right. Every time Donald Trump says, drill, baby, drill. Every time he says that, he gets a huge, you know, applause line. People go berserk because, because they do not want high gasoline prices. They do not want high energy prices in general. They do not want high food prices. And people realize that they want to keep driving their gas-powered cars. This EV electric vehicle mandate is a complete failure. The consumers don't want it. They're all sitting on lots. You've covered this before. You and I have talked about this before. No, the Bidens do not get this message. In fact, uh, Kamala Harris went out there and she said, we're going to spend another trillion dollars, trillion dollars to regulate methane, okay? So what does that mean? According to Rick Perry, former energy secretary, on our show Friday, that would close down 300,000, get it, 300,000 oil and gas wells. Close them down, all right? And that will drive up prices even more, and that will throw people out of work. So, no, the Bidens have no common sense whatsoever. Interesting stuff. Larry, great. Uh, we'll see you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern, right here on Fox Business. Larry Kudlow. Thanks very much, Larry. See you soon.